Okay, so I'm Charlotte, and <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so and I'm gonna teach you how to do the get into the truck position. You're gonna take your knee and you're gonna put it. Wait, you're gonna take your knee and put it in between, and then you're gonna step on their ankle, and then you're gonna grab um, on their other leg, and then you're gonna pull them. Backwards, and you take the one that's on top and put it under their ankle. Hi, Abby. Um, so we're going to go off of what she just did. We're going to start back in the truck position. So you're going to take your right leg, go down, going and stepping, bring them back. Figure four. And after you do that, you're going to take both your hands and go up on top of their shin. And you're going to take your feet and make... One go on top, one on bottom, and you're going to bring your feet all the way up to your chest, kick. We're bringing your other foot forward and getting both your hooks in, and you can go for your bow and arrow choke while getting right hand to your left collar, taking your left leg and taking all the way across them, taking your left hand to their left pants leg and pulling them backwards. Good job. Uh, hi, my name is Karis, and I'm going to show you all the defense to the truck position that you all just learned. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be in turtle for them to get into truck, the truck position. It's going to get to the truck. And from here, if I want to escape, I immediately have to bring my knees to my chest and then rock forward. It may not work the very first time, but it, it'll, you have to do it a few times for it to work. Then once you're here, you, you want to get your elbow and you want to push it. You want to push her up. You want to crowd her face and get your armpit. You want to smash her face in your armpit just like this and trapping her arm down. Then this arm is just going to put, put it on your knee and you're just going to try to get your leg out by kind of pushing your hips out and pulling your leg out. Then from here, you can just go straight to side control. I'm going to teach you all the, um, the reverse triangle from the crucifix. So my partner is going to be in trying or uh, in turtle, and then if I want to get to the crucifix, I, my knee slides in and have good control with my elbow, and I'm just going to step my foot up for her to for bait for her to grab. I'm just going to push it back down, and she can't get her arm out now; it's, it's stuck. And then I'm going to use both my arms. I'm going to grab hers, and then I can either do a forward roll or I can roll backwards, but I'm just going to roll backwards for now. <laughs> I'm going to be right here. I have her arm nice and tight, and if I want the reverse triangle, I'm going to. Um, get my arm and I'm going to kind of push your head away so it's easier for my leg and my leg is just going to hop up. It's going to get right here. I want to connect my legs immediately no matter how that is but then eventually figure for my legs and it's going to come down and she should tap pretty pretty quickly because it's a lot faster than the, the regular triangle. I'm learning. I'm showing you all a cool way to get to back and get a choke. So you're going to start with your partner standing up. You're going to get butterfly hooks and two collar grips and then you're going to roll them over your head, and you're going to land and mount, and they're going to get a quarter guard. You're going to tri triangle up your legs, walk your hands back, and then push off. And you're, instead of getting back, she's going to turtle up. So you're going to have one knee up and one knee down. The knee up is going to be the knee farthest away from her, and you're going to get, get the hand farthest away. Get a collar grip high up. Then you get your other hand, put it on her back, and then bring your leg over right here, and then pull that collar grip, and she'll tap. 